What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Red Robot Games coming from the glitchy area in Paper Marty O for another episode. What's up, guys? How's it going? I still just don't understand this. Like, this this is my new place. Screw between two houses. We got look at this. Look, look what? I just, I just don't understand. Like, that is so weird. That's not, like, my capture device. That's straight up the game, just slowing down and lagging. All right, so this episode, we're going to progress with the story a bit. We're going to move on. It's going to be awesome. Um, so we talked about... Ooh, that juicy star piece up there is teasing me. Uh, we talked about, you know, the mob boss of the of the head honcho of West Side Rogueport. I want to see what our boy Ishnail has to say about it. You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the robo-thieves. You lost... What business brings a chump like you with a place like this? Say it ain't vacation. Was that? You want to meet that lying, cheating, stealing, no good jerky for brains, da pianta. Whoa, they got some beef. They got some beef. Drama alert. Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that and you still want us to tell you I can meet that crumb. Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk. But it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budget on the price, not a single coin. Inside info is pricey. Them's the breaks. Forget you, pal. What? Oh, fine, I get it. Don't want to pay, huh? Fine, no pay, no way. I say, come back when you're ready and stop being a ch cheapskate. Okay, so that's what you normally would do. Um, wait, what happens if you go back? I gotta, I gotta know, dude. I'm here and you're right. I could have sworn you said you really wanted me to tell you how to meet Don Pianta, the scum of the earth. Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost... Okay, it's, it's the same thing, right? It's the same thing every time. Okay. Well, I'm not going to pay 64 coins because I'm actually broke right now. I am dead broke. Uh, I won't be in the future. I'm going to be I'm going to be rich as anything. Um, I'm going to be the Warren Buffett of Paper Mario. But for now, for now it's humble beginnings, okay? So, I don't I, I can't pay that. But normally that's what you do. You tell you a couple vital pieces of information that I already know and that um, we're going to be executing soon anyway. But uh, just, I guess I'd figure I'd show it off. You know, why not? Why not, right? We've got two coins to our name. <laughs> Riding solo around Rogueport with two coins. I mean, I guess it's best. If we get robbed, then it's like, whatever. It's just two coins. Okay. Um. So, yeah. We're going to go to the shop here. And since I only have two coins, I think it'd be smart to sell an item. Um. So, I could sell... Probably gonna sell the in coupon. That's definitely the most useful. And oh, I need to sell something else too. So we are also going to sell Dizzy Dial. And is that it? God dang, I need one more coin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, uh we'll sell the uh the mushroom. Alright, now. I just got a feeling, man. I have a feeling, just a feeling inside that we should buy a dry shroom and then a dizzy dial. Not a dusty hammer and a dizzy dial. Or wait, dry shroom and a dusty hammer. I think that's what it is in Paper Mario 64. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister. What color is your mustache? Um, honestly, my must mustache looks kind of yellow. Oops, uh, what's wrong with me? That, that wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, mister, uh, what's your favorite color? It's yellow. Oh, uh -huh, well, you check out. You know the password. So, uh, must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. Good for you. Yay, I'm an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Why does she have to open her mouth to, to take the lock off? You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna go on with my bad self, all right? All right, I will. Okay, cool. Let's do it. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're just walking in like the own, we own the place. I like this. I like how you don't even have to walk up and press A. Like the game, 
like sinks you in. I just think it's really cool because that makes it natural. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> I'm done gushing over the game for now. What's it with you, wise guy? I ain't no jolly today. Uh, if you got beef, spit it out quick, or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You wanna? You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now to me, that's funny. Uh, you a stand-up comedian? No, y you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Piata. I make crying babies weep. Uh, you want to, should I, uh, or you want I should run this bum out? I can't even read this, man. You want I should run this bum out on a rail boss? Uh, look at him. What, what a rube. What a rube. You must like a pain, funny guy. Uh, you must be looking for trouble, or what? Not so fast, boys. I, I like this kid's gumption. He, he just come, came to talk, no? And that ain't a crime. So, we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So, I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for that blimp. Out with it. Oh. What's that? You wanna help some broad what got herself kidnapped? Ain't to rescue this dame. You're out of collecting the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Hey, boss. Ain't those the things in that legend about the ancient treasure? <laughs> Just so you guys know, I'm using my hands to talk. <laughs> I, wish I, I wish you could see it. <laughs> Finny, you, you're such a dope, eh, boss? This knucklehead believes in his fairy tales. Bite your tongue. Don't listen to that loot. The treasure is as real as I am. Oh, hello. Everybody just shut it. I, I don't care if the treasure's real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy... Wait, I I can't help but like, like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? I'm not entirely sure I, I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's, it's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished. But it wasn't too long that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you've got to do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's because you lungs can't find her dead. I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you don't say making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, no, boss. W whatever you say goes, boss. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So, it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend, then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Alright, Don Pianto, okay. That dialogue probably took way longer than it than it had to, but I had to I had to act that one out because honestly, Don Pianta and his his associates are some of my favorite characters in the game. So I had to give that some light there, and I hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, we're going to go find Francesca and Frankie. Apparently they eloped. And I, we don't know where they eloped, but they, they eloped. All right. Well. I hope it's going well, guys. We can have, just, we can have an awkward silence if we want. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just, I, I'm sorry. I'm so awkward. <laughs> Um, well, it looks like I know exactly where they are. It's almost like I played the game before. Wow, it's crazy. Okay, uh, who are we gonna talk to first? We're gonna talk to Frankie. Hey, back off, you creep! You want something? Or, or you like just slide? Or wait, you just like siddling up to people? What? Daddy asked you if you could find us and and take us to him. Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, oh, I don't know, and the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. 
don't you know what he'll do if we do that? Or what he'll do to you? Francesca, baby doll, if we can just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie, let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But, but, but a biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. But we can, Frankie, the more you try to put the fl out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! <laughs> Don't you see, mister? I, I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? <laughs> no way, sob sister. Oh, what did you say to me, you terrible, terrible man? Fine, have it your way. But we won't go with you. Never. I won't move from the spot. Oh, what am I going to do with this crazy dame? <laughs> <laughs> Is they really calling her a dame? Didn't uh didn't Don Pianta uh get that? Or didn't he call Peach a dame? Oh whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Pianta fellow. I must say though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. Yeah, I guess so. Well, we're gonna have to go back and see what Don Pianta has to say about that. No, I didn't mean it. No, I didn't mean to talk. Okay, whatever. I might as well check what you got. <laughs> I didn't mean to talk to him. Man, I it, it's these times, man. It is these times where I look at Paper Mario 64 and I see that there is a wonderful, wonderful form of movement in the spin dash. And then I see this game and then I see that the spin dash is not in the game. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, why is the spin dash in this game? It would be amazing. But whatever. I digress. That's, that's just something I got to get out from time to time. All right, what else is going on here? Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You gotta brighten my mood. So give what you got. You know where the whereabouts of these two runaways? Uh, sure do, and I'll tell you. Oh, uh, is that true fact? Uh, Rogueport Harbor, eh? Well done, I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two nimrods. The kids are at the harbor, now go get them. Daddy, wait! Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss. I I'm sorry, I truly am. Frankie, so, back you come, head hunting low. And with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen. I, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. You forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All to blame right here. Daddy. Boss. Yeah! Enough. Quiet. The both of yous. Francesca, my headstrong daughter. You used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see you, your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where. Just go. That's what you expect me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want. Even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy! Dad! No, wait. Boss! <laughs> Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, uh, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you, she'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go! <laughs> Francesca, uh, seeing, uh, this, uh, seeing you this happy makes me happy, too. Congrats to the both of you. Hey, Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey... Things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell and thank you. 
You still here? <sighs> well, you found my daughter, and you got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. You got a blimp ticket! Who knew? That guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. Oh, shit. Okay. Because of the boss is who he is. He can't let people see his sensitive side, you know? But uh, just between you and us, you made him real happy. And he's real thankful. No matter what he says, the boss is actually worried about Francesca. All right. We got enough of these... These goons and their and their soap opera. That was uh that was quite the episode. Is that an episode though? I feel like oh man, this is so hard. It's like, do I keep going? Do I do I go into my my? We've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzville. Yeah, apparently we're going to Glitzville. Yeah. Oh, we got an email. Sweet. Yeah, I mean, as much as I'd love to continue on here, I feel like this is just the perfect place to stop. I apologize for. Having two Rogue Port interlude videos this chapter, I, I usually uh, aim to get it all done in one. And I actually anticipated doing that dialogue, you know, that cutscene and, and soap opera and whatnot, and then starting chapter three. But unfortunately, just because of time and just because it works so perfectly, we're going to start chapter three in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. You're beautiful people. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Have an awesome day, everyone.